Okay, the Western style hardstone, apparently. And you know what I like? I like that this is kind of a glitch reminiscent to the thing that I stole, basically. The first thing I did. And this is when I'm releasing my card game, my friends. While this expansion is going to be the last expansion, in three months, I believe, I'll be releasing my card game. So, uh, this is quite a glitch, I'm not going to lie. It's quite a glitch to see uh, this represent this which is going to be released soon and i created this icon specifically one year ago interesting right uh let's check the trailer a little bit faster and i already checked it and i've already seen things that will not happen in hearthstone okay in the beginning, I was all alone, trying my best to do some good out there. I mean, that's kind of true. It's kind of true. But it didn't take long to realize that. And it's, uh, the reason why it's relatable and why somehow I picked that as a representation, I was trying to look for, like, influence and reputation icon and this kind of popped into my mind you know i needed a star and it's like where are the stars at in the western sheriff thing because sheriff has the most reputation because sheriff has the most reputation of all characters ever is questionable but i mean uh there's nothing that stands out in terms of like law and order people than that guy right with the right friends. Now is Reno Sheriff? I I guess not. I guess the dude that just pops out into the bar is the sheriff. Everything would change. Step aside. I'm not sure why friendship turns into a brawl. And uh, that's all we're going to see in Hearthstone. We're just going to see a bunch of brawls. But you don't actually get to see minions fight, they just disappear from the board. That's all you're gonna see. Which is the stupidest thing about Hearthstone. Like, the, the card just disappears from the board. In fact, Reno goes to next level Borkler, because a simple Borkler was not enough. Now cards literally disappear from the board, whether they're locations or uh, dormant. They just disappear. And... <laughs> doesn't stop there i i have no idea bro i have no idea how could it be made the borkler worse without saying deal three damage to your enemies for the rest of the game bro just for the rest just n no conditions nothing you have to play you just deal three damage to everything for the rest of the game bro i mean they're they're almost there i can't wait to be honest Don't know who you're messing with. You're, is that a sheriff? Looks pretty cool. I mean, I, I think the name of him is that. The blue star, though, I'm not sure what these, like, uh, items represent. But I personally created gems as an inspiration. So, uh, these things will actually give us mana in my game. Mm-hmm. And yeah, Badlands, like, the Wild West, the idea that, uh, that the Purge is coming, my friends. I talk about the Purge in my main channel, but it's just like lawlessness, basically. And it's like, sometimes stealing things is actually more productive to society. That is the idea. That is so inspiring to me of like, wow, you can just do whatever you want. There's no need for laws because laws just occupy too much space in people's brains to slow us down as people and we can just steal things because most of the time we're not actually stealing things we're just copying and pasting and making our own our versions like a lot of shit has to get loose because when i see other card games it is pretty fucking cringe to see taunt but then you call it 
guard or something else entirely. Like, every single time I see a keyword rephrased, but it does the same thing as it does in Hearthstone, it's so cringe already. It's like, you know you stole it, and you know you had to steal it, but you, you know you had to fucking rename it as well. So for me, at least I'm not stealing that, because I have no hard names. I mean, keyword names at all, right? Everything is just nameless stuff. So, uh, solve that problem. You can only uh, bully me from using art, which you can actually see, you know? You can actually see the art. I'm not zooming into that. But, like, have you seen Batterhead this up close? The full Batterhead art? I don't think so, bro. In Hearthstone, it's just impossible. You have to go to a special place and get your drugs there, basically. And I'm like, even that part I'm proud of. I'm I'm like, every everything about my card game I'm super proud of because Hearthstone doesn't have none of that shit. Even, e even though I stole it from there, you know. Uh, and now it's not interactive. So whatever you see here, people fighting and interacting, that's not Hearthstone. That's some kind of other game that they're showing right now. It's a lie. Please. Oh! Don't know who you're messing with. They knew the townsfolk were up to something sinister. Let's move! Right behind you! And it was like a powder keg waiting to explode. Ah -ho! Ah -ho! We did it! No! Oh. I have no idea what's going on. If there's a plot line, I do like the giant in the background though. I do like the dragon thing, because now apparently we have Team the Dragon after Dragon of Awakening or whatever. Expansion. These are now reoccurring characters like it feels like a cartoon. Except Reno shouldn't... Probably shouldn't exist anymore, because Reno has been a Borklair forever except the day one. The day one is like, oh, look, Reno is cute. It just heals you fully, right? It's, it's a cute card, right? And then it turns out Borklair instantly. Mage Borkler twice that makes things disappear. And now it's a neutral Borkler that makes things disappear for a very long time. And I hate Reno now. I hate Reno after just seeing Reno, you know. And I hate that I relate to his, you know, story of like, oh, I have been alone. Hmm. Yeah, because that's the only fucking way you play Hearthstone. You play one minion, and you leave it alone. Otherwise, uh... The, the five Borklers that my opponent is holding is start gonna be useful if I play a second minion. Holy shit. Oh, nuts. As it turned out, I had the right... In fact, I have a perfect graphic for it. I just seen a video. I'll show you guys. Do you see something odd in the, this guy's hand in the end of the game as he wins the game? What is left in his hand? Four brawls? Four, four brawls? Is that normal even? What the fuck is this shit? <laughs> and he's just waiting because his opponent is priest. What the fuck is this bullshit, bro? And it's like useless. <laughs> This is a fucking meme, bro. Anyways, guys, let's review the cards. This is uh, a different sort of introduction than I usually do, because uh, we gotta we gotta have them funds and stuff. Because uh, looking at terribly designed cards is not gonna be fun. Well, I mean, if it's not a Borkler, it's probably pretty well designed. I mean, that's that's the fucking vibe at this point. So we're gonna have. The good cards and the bad cards. And to remind you guys what good is and bad is, there's some cards that turn into black holes that just uh, revolve around, just unlock an entire package of cards. Uh, and you have to play it in your deck, basically, with, the, with that package. 
and there's uh two good cards that just literally are too good but like it still exists in the game for some reason it's going to be introduced into the game and i i don't want to see it to be honest usually legendaries are too good now legendaries are being designed to be extremely crazy titans colossals both of them were a terrible design even though they're sort of like cute and uh, interactive but they just swing tempo like crazy bro or eat your entire board because like why the fuck not and then uh you have uh creatures that literally have zero synergy you don't understand what the fuck's going on these are the bad ones as well these all these are bad the only good are just balanced cards to make sense have nice design features and uh you know not boring they could be boring or, or, or weak. And uh, weak to, means that it's just unplayable, right? Like, how could they fucking mess things up like that? So, uh, alright guys, class by class, we're gonna quickly go through all the cards. Should be uh, doable, right? Unlike last time. Last time, I'm like, oh shit, I can't review the expansion because I have no fucking idea what Titans do anymore. It doesn't write it on the fucking card. Uh, they just say Titan. Mm hmm. And now you have to read extra five abilities or some bullshit like that. And like, like no, I guess I'm I'm done. I'm done reading cards. Uh, so this time I don't think we have that. I think. Uh, uh, well, nothing happened, but like, we we don't have that. So. Good job. But we have something way worse, I imagine. Alright, let's see it. Let's start the review. I'm not going to explain what Excavate is. You're supposed to know that. Unfortunately. We basically get better and better cards, technically, each time you excavate. And it's, a, it's a, from a certain package of cards. And eventually you're going to get your class legendary or some kind of nonsense i i'm not sure how i feel about the excavate it's it's kind of cool it's kind of like somewhat consistent it's like spare parts idea uh but i i don't want to explore 15 more cards from excavation because of, like it's impossible now i have to find another page of cards uh, again, I'm not sure why I, why I have to review this in uh, a website and not the game itself. Still very confusing to me. And besides Excavate, there's Quick Draw where you play the card the moment you draw it. Oh, cool. This stuff is not bad. I do like Pile of Bones, maybe, decent, it's really hard to say, because uh, now it's it's complicated, it's like corpse spending thing, or corpse having thing, this doesn't need corpses, it gives you undead, I mean, I'm, I, I don't know, bro, I don't play Death Knight, I hate Death Knight, to be honest, but I do like the green stuff. Green color of Bugatti. I, I do like that. Pile of Bones is like the coolest card. But you're not going to excavate that much. So. It's not that strong. But I personally would play this a bunch. If I played Death Knight. But I'm not. And also it's double runes. So it's actually a lot more complicated. It's so weird to evaluate the stuff. I give bad for just bad design. Like I, I don't, I don't even know. Cause runes just fuck things up instantly. Uh, if these are were supposed to be like normal cards, I don't think crop rotation is good. Like, haven't we seen something like this? Like a three three rush thing. And even like Shaman has a 3 attack, 3 three rush, 
This is just a four that dies. I mean, it's useful for corpses. Corp rotation, that, that's what it is. So it's it's very hard to evaluate when the whole thing like synergizes with itself. It's a whole package of corpses, basically. I have to pretend that two corpses like one mana cost. So you you're kind of already spending like four mana worth of corpses to summon an aid drop. It's just weird, man. Yeah, so you use four mana worth of corpses, and you use the mana. So it's actually a, a seven-cost card, technically. You're not getting much out of this, I don't think. So this is too average. This, I have no idea, but two runes makes this unplayable. Just straight up unplayable. I don't, I don't care about this card. If uh, the runes are not matching, people haven't played those kind of decks before. Uh, there's the Plague DK was playable. I'm not sure how mixed the runes were, but like, I really don't care about Death Knight design because trying to like understand it just breaks my brain. I'll give a. Uh, Two, two points. I'm not sure if crop rotation deserves a point. Some cards are too boring, so I'm not going to evaluate them at all. Too generic. So green and frost. Okay. The frost one deals with excavation. That's why it's combined. I hate it. Oh my god, are you serious? Yeah, I can do that, guys. I can I can do that with this website. It's it's not the, not big of a deal, guys. Technically I can use up and down keys or just scroll. Ugh what a pain. I think the legendaries are fine. This one's a little bit scary. Take control, ugh. But it's death rattle, so yeah, it's fine. These are all fine. I think uh, in general, it's pretty good. I'll give three points. I don't see a Borkler, so that's how we roll, boys. All right. Yeah, it switches from uh. uh random enemy to a spell so you deal two damage to a spell and draw a random enemy obviously a uh, spell on naga switches and it's uh something i guess now uh demon hunter is gonna have one of those except the mage one uh, was a mana cheating one infinite mana cheat and they always pop off that should, it's just so weird. So weird. You introduce some kind of like infinite effect and it pops off instantly in the game. Auctioneer, poof. Gotta be nerfed three times, in fact. Fucking, uh, a two drop that discounts your spells by one, poof, popped off instantly. It's just, it, every single time it happens, bro. Anything creates an uh, infinite effect, except this. This is not an infinite effect, bro. But it still can kind of pop off quite a bit, right? You just have to switch Naga and spells. And in fact, Naga Demon Hunter is available. And I'm kind of uh, satisfied that this is going to be happening. It's very, very available, I would say. Right? Now I was thinking about Priest 1. So I don't I don't know about Naga Demon Hunter, dude. But I'll take it. I'll take it, bro. This is a cool card. A mech? That's a mech. 
Discovering Naga. I don't see anything crazy. This card is uh, pretty lame. Because uh, I don't want to play things for one more. I already played against Plague Death Knight. And it's disgusting. So I... I mean, this card is pretty crazy. Just straight up drawing an outcast card. It's always going to be crazy to draw specific cards so early as well. The rest... Oh, played Naga while holding this. That's such a fucking... Ugh. That's so weird. I'm giving two points for these things. It's just kind of caught me off guard. But making Hearthstone less interactive? Nah, bro. I'm not, not into that. Oh, another big wolf. What, what does it do? Someone a copy of this? Well, you have to outcast it then. You just have to. Is it good enough, though, to be a good design? I mean, I'm okay with this stuff. But it's 12 points of tempo. And now it's normal. And now it's just cute. Ugh. I kind of hate this shit. The reference point, the closest card to this, is Shaman Spell for 5 plus uh, 1 Overload. So, uh, this is better, technically. You just have to outcast it, though. I'll, I'll take it. It's, it's fine. I don't think it's breaking the game. It's, uh, wow, look at that. Look what they did, bro. They're copying me. Hmm. That one. That one. Because I, I thought it... It's a new thing that I've invented, but apparently not. This does go spread damage to the lowest health enemies. In fact, it just does exactly the same thing. Because it can go phase two. Alright. I'll 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 take it. That's uh, impressive. I'll take that. I mean, any kind of... Our generation is probably kind of fun. What makes this even more fun is that the cards you're discovering don't fucking cost seven or more mana. It's pretty pretty good. Uh, in fact, you can sort of like it's it's around three four, I mean three and a half, and you might even discover it three times. Cool. So, it's, it's almost like super cool design. Super cool. So, so far, I mean, I'm I'm pretty fascinated by this. I like this so much. Uh, this? I'm not sure. I mean, it discounts by three, right? Is, am I reading this correctly? Because it says and. It doesn't say or. It says and. It's pretty crazy card. So, you, yeah, I mean... It has to cost like one mana for the effect, and then uh, the rest has to be pretty cool. Now, is it re is it actually cool? Yeah, I mean, as long as you can do that and just deal a bunch of shit to your opponent's face and OTK your, your opponent. In fact, you want to play two of these or three of these and discount them. So anything that helps to do that, yeah, I understand. Because there's there's nothing else than ODKs. In fact, anything that deals damage to your opponent's face is now a playable card. Uh, it's fascinating, and it has to go face. Because now now we just spray that my opponent doesn't have life steal and a bunch of armor and all that shit basically. But if you're playing against a warrior and priest, now you're just praying that they will run out of resources. You're doing the opposite. It's so it's so weird. I really wonder, like, if those strategies kind of work. It would be a very interesting experiment, I would say. Uh, 
can a uh, priest and warrior not out temple you but like eventually they they get their win conditions or whatever it's so painful the last card is also pretty crazy i'm not gonna lie it's another dirty red boys but it's a crazy one it doesn't actually pull minions it just kills them you don't i don't think you get to see them though so like what's the point we never reveal cards that we interact with from my opponent's hand even uh, and this is a, a lot of a cost for not much of a return it's just like a very weird card really weird bro so i'm not sure if it's good enough to be honest just looks too weird One one point for good design because I love activating dragon cards. All right, you must understand. It's the best thing you can activate in Hearthstone. So, uh, what do we have for them dragon cards? I will actually have to say goodbye to my favorite dragon card next year. So uh, that sucks. But for now, I guess we're able to play more of that shit. Maybe even discount it. I can draw it right now. This is amazing. Get mana crystals. That's good. Not sure if this is useful at all. Maybe slight mana cheating, but nah, bro. What? Random? I have a feeling you want... Uh, the ones that cost less. I'm really not sure if this is good. Well, I, I'm not sure. It's also not a nature spell. So fuck you. Um, this one is really cool though. This one's super cool. So I'm on a 1-2 copy of something and it's a nature spell. It's, it's not going to be that crazy. But it's really cool word because it curves out as well you just you just play that stuff i'll give three even though there's like boring cards or whatever or just weird ones i'm not saying these are bad right i'm not saying like this is bad i didn't even like notice that i'm supposed to say that stuff is bad because i don't think anything was bad so far in the badlands well, that sucks. That's not thematic at all. Race straws up, but uh, this looks very good. This looks incredibly powerful. Which, of course, like, we're gonna play no duplicate decks, right? So, a lot of cards that seem kind of unplayable, like this, like, is kind of decent. Uh, but I, I'm not sure how I feel about no duplicate decks. To be honest, well, we all have to see. It's too confusing to try and evaluate that either. Uh, the setting sun's pretty cool. I'll, I'll just say it's cool. I don't. Thank you, Blizzard. Thank you. Shut the fuck up. That's some. Uh, Coupon thing, uh, extension, whatever. Yeah, I'm, I'm clicking on that shit. I probably should hide it. I actually think this is not good enough. Maybe this is good enough. Maybe this is played because of synergies. This one's pretty scary in general. You can just hold two dragons and you get a 9-12. I don't think you're going to hold more than two, though, that often. But you can then play Dragon Tales. This kind of is scary because you can return it to your hands and replay it a bunch. In fact, returning things to your hand is probably very good in a dragon deck. Ugh. 
Yeah. It just doesn't seem like it's thematic with the stuff that synergizes that you want to play multiple copies of. And you don't have that many dragons. I don't know what the fuck Ray Straza is supposed to do. It's supposed to just not be a dragon card, generally. It's a, it's a foolery. You look at this card and you get fooled. Uh, I mean, I'm not sure if these like interesting enough. This one kind of is. This one is interesting to me personally. Maybe you can cheat mana, bro. Discount it and cheat mana. That would be cool. Probably not. Okay, so uh, this is a good design. This is like decent. Yeah, funny enough, it, it doesn't cause zero mana. It, you have to pay four mana and gain it back. It's a very weird design. And is this good? It's good enough for me to press the button at least. But this is the same thing. Oh, draw a minion. Oh, shit. <laughs> Wasn't this introduced when Drino was introduced? In some kind of way? It's so weird. Like back in the day. It was Adventure's hat that turned into a one mana thing. And now it's pretty fucking powerful. This is pretty crazy. I'm not gonna lie, this is now an aggro deck. Because of this card. I'm okay with that. Is it's basically better than bananas at this point. It's just so much better. You draw a minion and you, then you play that minion and then you get this back. Easy, bro. I think... I think this card is hiding a lot of bananas in there. Alright. Or it is bananas. We had this effect and the, it's not a bad effect at all. All these cards are scary, bro. I'm okay with that. What's the last one? Random Beast. That one's also really scary. Holy shit. So we have a bunch of death rattles, I've noticed. Should I give all the thing? Like, this is also really good. I'm getting a fire. It how? How everything is properly designed for the first time in forever. You telling me that's a four drop that deals three damage? I... Let me remind you that Mage can do that with a four drop that's not a legendary, doesn't have many requirements at all. It doesn't even have to, I mean, attack into the enemies just heals the damage so uh we went back i mean this is really good because we went back to normal isn't that crazy maybe we're not going to see any more borglers or any borglers at all except that we're still going to be terrorized by the things that already exist random bonus effects i mean this is really cool Sil silver serpent we have never seen Rush Poisonous before, I don't think. There was a 5 mana Rush Poisonous. Now it's 3 mana. And can be immune. It's kind of crazy, bro. Is this good? I mean, Zeddy said it's bad, so it's good. It's, it's, it's pretty fucking good. Like, how do you not like a really good removal? Especially as Hunter. Oh, because you have Borklers. Oh, fuck off, bro. Fuck off. Can, what? So bonus effect is now a thing, basically. Find Shield Tom, Life Still Reborn. Wind Fury, blah, blah, blah. I still haven't figured out what this is supposed to be about and how it how it works right 
when a die summon a chameleon. Like, which one is the best? Divine Shield seems pretty good. Rush is okay. Wind Fury is decent. Reborn is similar. Maybe Stealth is not as powerful. It's, it's cool though, right? It's not really that powerful. Back in the day we had that 3 mana. Plus 2, plus 2. Broke the game because it's immune when attacking. And still summons a 2-2. Two, two. This is a kind of mild version of that. Really mild. I don't think it's that powerful. I think it's 5 points of tempo. And buffs are no longer that relevant. When you have an empty board forever. Summon a random beast one. Yeah, this, this is fine, right? Have I given points? I'm sad now. By the way, remember star power that just clears everything instantly? This doesn't do shit. This is like, technically, this is a bad card. This is like a bad card, bro. I don't know what you... What? what? We found a, a second bad card. I'm not sure what the first one was, but this is the second one. Because it's too weak. This could easily be three mana. So I'm not... How do you use arcane shots efficiently? Stacking them up and buffing them with spell damage? Uh, Beats me, bro. This is not a good card. Because uh, technically, again, it's just a 4. 4 attack weapon. Where you can split the attack. That's cool. You don't take damage, extra damage, but like... Give me a break, bro. This is lame. And this is probably a cool legendary. I have no problem with that as well. Random. You can buff it. Probably gonna buff it. Probably it's a three attack thing. It's almost like too powerful. Six, nine. And death rattle. Starts at nine already. Well. I'll say it's good though. Alright, the worst class in the game. It's right there, but, like, uh, I'm talking about design choices. One thing you might not know about Quick Draw is you can generate a card, uh, and it will still have Quick Draw because it enters your hands this turn. So, uh, you can make a bunch of copies of this. Obviously, redraw it if you want. But if you make a copy of this... Or uh, discover it. Like, you're going to be able to use the effects. And we already know. Zeddy loves his Sif Mage. And this card is like a 4 star card or whatever. And shit the fuck up. It's, it's annoying. Because it's a 2 mana Borklair that deals 2 to all enemies. It's pretty painful. As it is. And uh, you're going to just uh, make a bunch of copies of this. Because why not? And you're always going to have this card. And I hate it. It's just by default. This is why you will download my... Uh, thing. Wait, what? The link doesn't work? Fuck. And we're just supposed to, like, link to this website. I don't know what happened, bro. Okay, technical difficulties because I'm stupid. Alright? You must understand. Uh, this is probably not www either. Oh. Maybe. I don't know. Funny thing is, I've tested this feature before. Okay, this sucks. But we, ha we get all the totems, technically. Okay, maybe it doesn't suck. 
I wanted the stereo totem because it's the only card that I know that buffs stuff in your hand. So I'm like, well, this stereo totem keeps getting uh, good good stuff. I'm gonna stereo totem is the best card in the game. All right, if you disagree with me, there's something wrong with you, bro. It's just the best card. I don't think I've I've seen a better card than this. This is the best card in the game ever potentially but right now in standard definitely and you have to play it in every deck and you don't even know it that's how good it is it's even better if you don't know how good the card is holy shit you have no idea you play this in turn two and you generate four four points of tempo by default this has to be killed as quickly as possible but again most people will not kill it instantly it's just insanely crazy card. Insanely crazy card. Totem synergy has nothing to do with anything here. All right. Oh, so so you're gonna play this card and you're gonna play this card and it's gonna be pretty cool, right? I don't know about that, but I don't know if this card is good at all because you're just gonna get cleared, my friend. You're gonna get uh, pummeled in your own game, little mage. Yeah, but you gotta appreciate that they they really just served me this expansion. You know, I got the dragons because uh, I'm mainly druid. All right, I got my dragons. We have the purge theme. Every, everything just super spicy for me. While the name itself, the Badlands, maybe just for the future for me to unlock the full potential, but in terms of flavor, I mean, uh, I'm dying, bro. This is amazing. This might just be the best expansion ever. Like, ever. But we'll see. Uh, three, three bad cards. Badlands with good cards. These cards are really hard to evaluate. I guess they're not like game breaking and I can give them one point collectively. Uh, but then it's just like, is it good design though? Maybe I have to collectively give it bad because I don't, I'm not excited about this shit at all. In fact, I think this is a very weird card. Really weird card. I, It's kind of good. And I like it. It's just so weird. I don't think it's going to be played though. You know. Yeah the best way to do discounts. Is to not do discounts. Because discounts are pretty fucking disgusting. D disgusting. Kind of pun intended. Sounds the same way. Now. The way you actually do discounts, I realized, is you just give mana to the player. Which is a very weird thing to say of like, well, cards that didn't cost, didn't start in, a, in your deck cost four less. How would you do that in a reverse way where you give mana? And this is a tangent, by the way, but uh, this is how my card game is going to work. You're probably not going to get discounts. In my card game, you're going to get mana, extra mana to spend. Because uh, if you discount a one, a two mana card, or a one mana card, one mana card is free. Two mana card is 50% more efficient if it's discounted by one mana. One mana alone, bro. And just, uh, it keeps going like that. Where if you give a player mana... They can't even spend that much. They just get excess mana and you know how much you're giving. Like you have full control over the game as a game designer by giving the player mana. And that mana shouldn't go away anywhere, to be honest. Uh, but yeah. Except it does sometimes break the game if you keep giving the player mana for something. It can break the game. Then you have infinite mana. Uh, you gotta be careful with that shit. So, uh, 
Well, now they have to make it a complicated card where something costs less but not less than one, uh, which is understandable. Uh, I'm probably not going to evaluate any of this for each card in your hand to a random enemy. It's not, it's not a Borkler. Uh, I think we've seen this card before, by the way. Maybe a 3-3? Three, three? Very similar card. And then uh, excavate. I mean, okay, this is just average, I guess. But now every single person has at least eight cards in their hands. By the time this is playable, uh, meaning this deals like seven damage, is it still decent that way? Is seven damage random, not necessarily one point of tempo for each damage? Maybe plus five. It's not that great, but what? Well, it does make it one point of tempo simply because dealing damage is extra tempo. Playing a card that doesn't do anything, just has stats, all of a sudden is actually slow. Uh, and not necessarily going to be useful at all. It's just going to suck in a, your opponent's card or something. So, uh, I mean, it's something. It's how cards are supposed to be designed now. I'll just try to ignore Mage. Guess to rent. No, 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 no. No. All enemies and summon random 10 drop. It's weird because, like, Astalor is like 14 damage. And probably 10 drop is good. Maybe not better than 8-8s, eight to be honest. It's very hard to say. But it, it seems like a really powerful card. If you, I mean, you can just keep on playing this card. It's a disgusting card. I think it's actually really bad. This is fine. This is really bad. Maybe this is bad as well, because I hate Mage Secrets, okay? You generate two of them. Just like that. I'll still take that over Borklers, so this is really bad. A Pyroblast, bro, but the one that really, really kicks your face, because Pyroblast is now an absolute terrible card, unplayable, but you can generate it for free now with Pyrotechnician. This is literally just Astalor. It's crazy, bro. I hate it. This card is good, and maybe overall it's good, but I'll just ignore it. I can give one good and one bad, but like... This one, again, I, I just don't know how it works. I don't know how anything works. Mage is like the biggest puzzle class there is, but probably... I, I just don't know, bro. I don't want to play it. So stupid. Okay, so I think I got this. Draw a holy spell. This is a very weird card. Why is a dragon so weak? What do you mean? 2 1 with divine shield, bro? Ah, so weird, bro. Okay. The craziest card is Showdown, and it's thematic. It's almost like two points for that shit. I really like it. All you need is like a, a board buff. Because uh, it's not efficient to remove the opponent's minions in any other way. You can do it with a board clear, but not with Paladin. You need a board buff. You're not going to play this aura, by the way. This is, this is really powerful. Auras are disgusting. Lifesteal is just a bad card, by the way. Because auras are just terrifying. Uh, Holy Spell. That is also terrifying, to be honest. 
Because so far it's just the aura that just dominates the game and it wasn't nerfed. Somehow Paladin is just dodging all the nerfs. And Death Knight haven't needed nerfs. Which is crazy and that's like one of the worst classes in the game. I thought it was supposed to be nerfed. No? Ugh, oh, it's so fucking... This game is so weird, bro. Okay, so... Uh, I mean, I like, I like the card. But it's just a removal in the end. Is it really... Interesting. I mean, uh, I like that some cards have tradable sometimes. That's cool. No, I'm not, this is not interesting to me. Except for the showdown. And maybe a Holy Cowboy is a pretty terrifying card. It's hard to tell. I don't see any more Holy Spells to discount. It says permanent, but there's no idea of, like, what does that mean? It says, what do you mean? Permanent. I understand. I understand if, like, you can play it over and over again. It, they tried so hard. They see permanent that stays in your hands. Then just... What the fuck? There's no better way to design this. So I understand how it works. I know how it works, but I don't. I don't see the mirage. But yeah, it's it's kind of cool. It's something. I don't think it's good. It's cool. It's like infinite minions, technically, right? Oh look, they even have their own names. How cool is that? And they're all legendaries for some reason. Just because they're related to this thing. I mean, okay. Sure. Again, we always get like eight of them. Ugh. How many you guarantee to summon? Probably three. Maybe. I'm thinking five is average. The amount of cards you're gonna have. This wouldn't be three, this would be two. But they are two drops. I... I don't... It's good. It's fine. I'll take that. It's kind of flavorful. It's fine. This should be fine as well. Doesn't seem too crazy. It's a battle cry, so it... Kind of just sticks around with that amount of attack. I guess. Yeah, again, I'm not sure how to do the Mirage. It's, it's not that crazy of a card. Oh, all enemies. Or each enemy minion. It's just so stupid. It's just like, let's mask a Borkler in the stupidest way. Of like, but... Um... If you have, like, if your opponent has, like, more minions, like, it's cheaper, guys. Yeah, you just masked a, a something that's supposed to be a 5-mana Borgler into a 4 or a 3-mana Borgler. So, congratulations. We just reinvented another, you know, Consecration for 3-mana. Except it's more powerful. This is so... Prismatic beam. It's just so disgusting. I will start giving two points, two points of bad when it's just straight up Borkler and is disgusting. And it even has disgusting art that doesn't mean anything, bro. Yes, it's it's supposed to be the Badland Bandits art, but like what the fuck does that make sense to you guys? What the fuck is this shit? I don't think it makes sense. So nothing about this card makes sense, and they tried. They print a Borkler, and no nothing about this makes sense, bro. So fucking painful. At least, like, like I don't know. 
play bandits, play pirates or some bullshit like that. And these would be pirates or miners, gnomes. I don't know, bro. I give up. My ideas suck sometimes. For each other card in your hands. Uh, no. No. You're not gonna play this card. Are you? Back in my day. Was it like 14? It wasn't 14. It was 12 mana giant. And it was played. And this card is not gonna be played. Simple as that. Look, it's 12 mana. Do you, you really think plus two mana on an old card, minus two mana on an old card is going to make this playable all of a sudden? Yeah. The least it can cost like two mana. And it still sucks. All right. At two mana. By the time you have ten cards in your hands. Fucking hand paladin. I, no, shut the fuck up. This card sucks balls. But Gurnix, this is like a 5-drop, so you just have to have 5 cards, just like you mentioned. Mm, I, I guess. It's just not worth it, my friends. Absolutely not worth it. To play a weak card. Now, the only thing that's, that makes this worth it, it's a taunt. It protects something. I don't think there's anything worth protecting though, so uh, we're we're done. We're done discussing this. I love all of these cards, except this one. This one can go fuck itself. I don't. I don't want Borglers. I don't want infinite Borglers. Just stop. What the fuck is this? Okay, let's see the design because all the this cactus. Is this an enjoyable card to look at, bro? Hey, look, I have collected cactus. How did you do that? Why did you do that? What's wrong with you? Why are you bringing cactus to our place? We don't need that shit. Just go fuck yourself, bro. Get out of my face. Stop existing. Everything else, including the access, which is fairly simple to understand. Except this one, because the Exodus is like also requires a damaged character. It's a little bit weird, but yeah, we can deal with that. This is super cool stuff, and you can double the bottles with this uh, potent thing. It would be nice if it copied one cost and two cost stuff. Then you get more of this shit or whatever. It's fine. It's really cool card. Really cool mechanic. This is a cool card as well. Steal from your enemy's deck, but... Or discover. If you quick draw. It's it's a tough one. It's But it's really powerful. Ugh. I'll, I'll just say it's good, it's decent. I'm not too upset about it. The whole thing. I'll give it a 3. Three. Maybe not four, but what do we have here? Oh look, plagiarize. Trem heist. Heist? What does that mean, bro? But uh seems pretty cool. This one doesn't seem cool at all. Random like, why? Why not a 5-5 five five at this point? But you can see in your opponent's hand. With so many other cards, you can do that. But not this one. This one sucks. I don't understand. Uh, so I'll, I'll give one good, one bad. What else do we have, though? Okay, we need uh, to buff up the video for the second hour. Because we're going to be for two hours here, obviously. It takes time. So let's summon Zeddy. Because I'm unsubscribed from Zeddy. But he still deserves to see how 
stupid he is out loud. He's just like, uh, this is all I can, like, surprise buff. Mm. But, uh, yeah, you're probably yeah, going to be one. That's all I can look at, bro. When we look at legendaries and stuff. I can't even see that, though. It's kind of like the point, but I hate it so much, bro. I hate it, bro. It's useless to me. Also, he literally hides a portion of, like, important stuff on the screen. How the fuck do you do that? I don't even have to show how stupid Zeddy is. Because you can see it. I don't have to show you. I don't have to dig around. You just see it. I guess he doesn't use the D. But he still cuts off like bottom of the cards. Doesn't give a fuck bro. Look at my beard guys. Alright. Zeddy. You officially ruined my day. It's not that bad but. Here's a hall of fame moment. I'm going to be sitting here. So fucking stupid, bro. Let's continue. The meme is over. But lifesteal doesn't have rush, so it sucks. I'll take it, though. It's, it's fine. You get uh, 10 of these for 6 mana, technically. And uh, flood the board. Which is very scary for the opponent of, like, should I clear this or not? Is something bad gonna happen to me? No, because it's Priest and Priest sucks balls when it comes to, like, tempo, plays or, or buffing the board. So don't worry about that one. This one just... Just pure healing. It's just really powerful card that is bad. Because it's so powerful. It's, it's pretty bad. Alright? I, I don't like it. Because it's, it's impossible to clear this without a board clear. And uh, Priest is going to abuse this to some ridiculous extent and copy and paste this card. I already see this as being a nightmare already. So, cool. You play this game. This doesn't seem that bad, to be honest. I don't think I give a fuck. You just have to play, though, like four one-cost cards. It's, it's cool. It's cool. Just stats don't no, no longer do anything. Even paying one card at this point is pretty expensive. Cards are expensive now, so this doesn't do much. You know. Summon four four copies of four random in your deck. I, sure, it's going to do something. You know. And you're going to play a bunch of spells. To be able to make this more potent, but I honestly don't care about no duplicate effects, even though it's it's gonna be like really powerful decks. I just don't care, man. Like that, just the flood. Like I I don't care because I don't even know how to evaluate this stuff. I it's a powerful card. Cool. We have never seen that before my friends this is a fucking big deal in hearthstone or or which confuses the shit out of me bro or motherfucker it's the opposite way that it's supposed to work in my game there's no or for like splitting the effects i'll show you guys so if you do this Let's imagine this is an effect. Then you do or, right? Because we have or, but like, I'll explain you guys. And then you do this. I don't have to explain when these triggers happen. This is either that happens or that happens. It's or. If you remove the or and you say and... You need both of these effects to happen at the same time. This still has not invented in Hearthstone, but we have stepped one step closer into a wrong direction and said, or. So this can happen 
or this can happen. They both cannot happen at the same time. It's the stupid... It, when I say it out loud, it sounds so stupid. You know, either this or that, bro. Clearly. Right? No, but it, you could be able to do this and that. But it's an or, because it's so weird, right? My game feels intuitive to me. Like, super intuitive. This or that happens, you get the effect. They can happen both. They can both happen. You would get the effect twice if they happen at the same time. But if this and that has to happen, which is here, the usual, we know in Hearthstone this means that this triggers diff different times. It's weird, bro. All right? To me, this is weird, so this is a, a galaxy thing. Bounty Wrangler. It definitely got a fucking bounty on his face. Oh my god, bro. I love that. Or... But what the fuck? I only get one coin, but I worked so hard, bro. I worked so hard. I comboed and quick draw it. And I still get just one coin. So if this is an and effect in disguise, I'll just die inside, bro. I will die inside. Because we already have an and. So we don't even know if this works the way that it works, you know? <laughs> it's so fucking stupid, bro. Bad. Bad design. And you fell into a trap that you fucking dig for yourself. You should have said, or here. And I screamed, screamed so loud, because I knew this might happen. You know, the limiting design space, because they will never be able to say or anymore. <laughs> anymore, boys. Oh my god. At least won't be able to say it without confusing the shit out of people. What is that? What is this two-character fucking thing that we've never seen before? It's so scary. Exactly. A bunch of uh, weird cards. This one is like super weird. It's the same minion to get a coin. Wow. Okay. You can get a coin a bunch of ways. Interesting. I don't think I'm too in shovel. Is, is that good? I don't think so, but it's excavate, so of course it's gonna be good, right? Like, uh, Zeddy praises ex Excavate a lot, and I think it's not that relevant to the game. It's just gonna be fun to play, I guess, but I don't think it's gonna be competitive. I, I, I even guess, because I don't... I would have to evaluate Excavate cards, and I don't want to do that, because I'm... I'm not doing that, bro. It's not here, by the way. It's not convenient. So don't worry about it. We're not going to be able to talk about Excavate in any way. Even though I would like to, guys. I would like to. While this is in your hand, it will have so crazy effect, bro. Have like a six drop effect. Yeah. I don't think it's good. Unfortunately, even if it has charge, which is a very rare keyword, it's just undiscovered. I guess this technically seven drop. Dragon as well. Holy shit, boys. We got him. It's just not a three drop, though. It's, it's gonna take a while for this to like work and it doesn't do much, you know, when it comes down. It's not really a scary card. Is it good enough? I honestly don't care. Destroy an enemy minion. That's all you get? This? This is all you get for excavating twice? This card sucks balls, bro. Holy shit, man. Holy fucking shit. It sucks balls so much, it's, it's, it's funny. What the fuck is this, bro? Garbage shit flinger, bro.
<laughs> okay, we're getting some bad cards. How much? How much? <laughs> okay. It's not bad, not bad. We're still, like, beating most of the other expansions. Hopefully it's, it, it stays that way. We don't, we don't see a disappointment. Excavate a treasure. Quick draw. Death rattle. But that's how you do it, bro. Death rattle. But this is an ore. <laughs> this is actually ore. Oh my, it's so funny. Uh, battle of crime. Okay. Seems like really cool card. I... I'm okay with that. This is awesome. Again, you must understand, this card is dead in your hand for a long time. You're not gonna be excavating treasures by turn four, bro. Shut the fuck up, bro. <laughs> and the excavation cards are pretty rare in general. We're gonna see some neutrals. Maybe I'll change my mind about like this. No, bro, this is hilarious. 7 damage to a minion, draw 7 cards. Mm. What the fuck is this card? Oh, there are 7 cards! I've never seen anything like this, bro. It probably doesn't suck. I mean, it does something immediately as well. It's not just card draw. That's the problem with card draw that costs a lot of mana. Like, it doesn't do anything. It's very difficult to just spend 7 mana and don't do anything. This does something. This maybe removes a 5-5. Five five. And you draw 7 cards. It's ridiculous. I, I guess I'll give it a point. Is This is cool. Holy shit, bro. Are you kidding me? I think it's just bad, like, yes, now coins are valuable all of a sudden. The reason why this is bad, because I know one of the Excavate Treasures gives you two coins, which you want really badly, but it's one in five chances, 20% chance, and it's really painful. This is very difficult to like, get all these coins and stuff. I don't understand. It's bad either way, bro. <laughs> if it's good, it's bad. And if it's bad, it's bad. Because it's just extreme effect. Which is so weird. And why would you play coins after playing a 5-drop? To play a legendary. Whoa! So crazy. Such a crazy card. How do you generate coins, bro? With these two cards? Are you kidding me? I don't understand, bro. It's bad design simply because it's too stupid. It takes the most rare card, which you have to generate a coin, and turns it into a really powerful effect when you have the coins. But if you don't have the coins, you're screwed. I don't understand. This card just breaks me. And also, it's random. It's random. You get a le random legendary. You don't get to discover it. So it's random on top of random on top of random. This stuff doesn't work ever, bro. Just give me a break. Look, you can play one of these cards. Which makes me feel like this is not bad. Because maybe you will not find use for coins. Maybe. Maybe you can play one of these cards in your Highlander deck or some bullshit like that. It's still so bizarre, bro. Because the cards that generate coins doesn't necessarily generate coins, if you know what I mean. No, it's bad. It's so fucking stupid. I can't. It's almost like double as bad because it. I wasted so much time thinking about it. Stupid well. You know what? I should just say it's double bad design. But you get paid instantly. I don't know, man. <laughs> it's like lottery. It's like a slot machine, but with a well. It's old school slot machine. What the fuck, bro? So we already have a nature 
Shaman, and this is going to be a, a very good card for that. Nothing deals damage, right? All minions. This is obviously annoying because it's a pretty good Bortler, and I hate that. I don't hate it too much. This is a disgusting thing because it's a game resetting card. So we're hating on that shit. In fact, this is not even a legendary. It's just a card. Bruh. It's, you, you play that and you, you get all your life back. Isn't that crazy? We already had the, the fountain thing. And now it's just a more powerful version of that. You can't play them back to back. That's a funny thing. You can't just play one into the other. That's it. Hopefully there's no elemental discounts, right? Please. Thank you. Improved by all the bullshit that you did last turn. Just it keeps on fucking delivering. And now I'm like, no. Stop. Stop with the Borglers. Stop with the game resets. Shaman now. Shaman needs survivability after receiving OTK deck. Okay, I'll take it, bro. I'll take it. No problem. Except one of the Borklers is a legendary, so I have to craft it. So stupid, bro. Now, of course, this is actually pretty weak. I don't think you're going to be playing that many elementals. You actually have to play it. You can't just summon it. So, uh, and it's just so weird. Don't overload. What do you... Oh, no. Oh, I guess... Cool. Yeah, yeah. The lonely thing is the well. It has no synergies, basically. You would think it does, but it doesn't seem like it, to be honest. So we found a lonely card, which is pretty rare. It's pretty rare for something to be a black hole, just sucks all the attention. Uh, and I probably shouldn't have had these... I just like having stuff that comes in fours and you have perfect balance in the middle. Anyways, a minion, quick draw. Mm hmm. Cool. I, I probably don't care much. It is a one mana card though. And you can generate that. Awesome. I already had like six damage for two mana. Is that an upgrade? Technically. Technically it is. Wow, this Murloc is pretty OP, I'm not gonna lie. Just like I've never seen people play Murlocs recently. So uh whoops. I actually no, I actually did. But these were noobs with like they're, they're, we're not normal players, let's put it that way. It didn't felt like they played Murlocs. It just played like... just felt like a meme. Because there's like no buffs for Murlocs. And if there's no buffs, then it's just pointless. There's no explosive value for Murlocs. But this seems fine. You draw a spell. Just fine. In fact, we do have a buff right here. We buff a Murloc, and then we draw a Murloc. It's... None of this is playable because it's minion-based strategy, and the minions are pretty weak. I'll just say it's good, because I have hope for humanity. They need a graphic to represent that you played an elemental last turn. Something could be happening on the board. Some kind of token sh should show up. But they're not going to do that. They don't give a fuck. They're just going to highlight the card. Like, oh, the card is yellow now. But we're not going to know how many times we play elementals in a row. Because that apparently also matters. And that's a cool mechanic, actually. Playing something in a row. That's pretty cool. But this? This is weird, bro. I hate the just the entirety design and just... If you played elemental last turn, it's, it's coming back. It's like... We already used this wording so many times. Just shrink it into something. You know, into a keyword. 
Is it so difficult? Actually, not even a keyword. You can shrink the entire thing. You can remove the battle cry and this shit and just call it elemental ass. An elemental fart, bro. That's all you have to do, bro. And if you... <laughs> so weird, bro. So simple, all of a sudden. I don't have to read this part seven, seven times a day, bro. Every time I wake up, it's like, if did I play the elemental last turn? Hmm? Why do I even know that? I don't even want to hold this in my brain. Deck has no duplicates, bro. Mm-hmm. Oh, cool. More reading. So, uh, each, each frog in It's pretty crazy. And it has taunts. It's a crazy card, bro. Holy shit, man. And there's weapon removal right now, so... Go fuck yourself. Uh, it's, it's cool. As a standalone card, knowing that maybe weapon removal is not in every single person's deck right now. Because uh, Ignis is a win condition for everyone. I'll say it's good. Is this good though? It's a 10. Oh, it's... Elemental, okay, okay. Elemental seem pretty powerful. I'll tell you that much. However, it's not that much more powerful than the nature spell again. The 5 4 with rushes. It's not that much more powerful, to be honest. These are three drops. I don't. I'm not impressed. I probably shouldn't do good because. Well, it. It's a good card. It's not good design. Because I've seen it. Not that exciting. Lowest health enemy. Very nice. Very nice. The sludge stuff. That you will deal with fracking. It seems pretty cute. But people are gonna play Control Warlock that looks disgusting. And play giant minions. They're not going to change their strategy at all. So even though this looks cute, like, Warlock already tortured me so much. I don't see these cards existing in the game right now. Is anyone going to change that? This this sucks, by the way. If it dies, excavate. Shut the, what the fuck is this? Doesn't even do anything, bro. Anymore in the game. It's um, cool. There's no spell damage. Ugh, it's fucking weird, bro. So you're telling me the trolley problem is to just summon another trolley? And honestly? Oh, tram car? What the f I thought the tram was the car. The trolley. Well, but the way you would solve a trolley problem, you spawn another fucking... You split it in two, obviously, to kill maximum amount of stupid people from the world. Fuck this shit. We win, boys. We figured it out. <laughs> Give me the reward. Give me the excavation reward, bro. Holy shit. I guess I'm okay with this card. What is that? Get a barrel of sludge. Get and put it into the Oh, this is a lot of weird shit, bro. I I'll give one. And one for trolley problem. Just two. This feels bad. This is also an epic card. Excavate cards are expensive. Get the fuck out of here, bro. This is so stupid. They're literally just selling the excavate mechanic. It doesn't even look good, bro. Doesn't even look good. If you excavate it twice, summon a full board of rabbies, bro. Like, I understand this is a cool payoff card. You know what the funny part is? It's a legendary. It's too specific. It's just weird. I don't like it. 
We have to look into excavate cards because now I'm just like confused. No. No, no, you don't do that. It's kind of very reminiscent of uh lackeys. And I liked lackeys, absolutely. But now we we're past that point where lackeys are good, you know. Just past that point where you can just play a two mana one one and it's like it's playable and stuff. But it gets better and better every time. Yeah, that's cool. I like that. I like the whole idea. It's just not powerful enough to play these minions, though. So you're getting a pretty big downside. These are just two minions that excavate. It's just so bad. So the whole thing is bad. It's not even interesting, at least. At least, even if it's decent, it's not interesting. And this card is just terrible. I give the entire excavation idea minus two points and plus this thing. So, fuck you, bro. What the fuck is this? It's like a, a normal card. And normal cards just don't cut it, bro, anymore. Hmm. Waste remover. Is that a four mana seven seven we desired so much is that the guy the the problem is, but why is he removing not waste if you're a waste remover why are you destroying the bottom of my deck bro all the time what did i do wrong bro just remove the sludge or something and, like, there's no actual synergy of, like, destroying things, so it just has bigger stats. I don't think it's that interesting. Uh, I'll just pass. I'm passing on that one. Actually, it is interesting because a reoccurring bad effect, actually. And I like those. I like... Actually, no, I don't like this. It's a 7-7, seven, seven, which you can actually play... <laughs> And you can copy and paste it, and the location was still not nerfed. And now I have to deal with 14-14 on turn 4. Thank you, Blizzard. Thank you very much. Get the fuck out of here. When this is played, discarded or destroyed, swallow up a barrel of sludge, bro. This one I understand. This one actually makes sense. Uh, Because... Uh, you're doing the sludge thing, but you want more. You want the whole thing to be more. At least it's not uh, curses. Uh, get to they just cost one less and have life steal. It's it's cool. I I'll take it, bro. I'll take that. They figure out how to buff the whole thing. Just start throwing sludge stuff. And you can do it immediately, so it doesn't have to like synergize with this battle of sludge. It synergizes with a lot of stuff. That's how you do it. That's the that's the way you do it. Instead of this, literally side by side, there's a well designed cheap card that generates stuff, and there's a bad designed card that you're forced to excavate like a lunatic, and you get a payoff if you're lucky, bro. Fuck this shit. This is how star power should have been designed. It should have said deal five, four, three, two, one, bro. That would be nice. <laughs> Nicer. Instead of deal six, five, four, three, two, one, whenever you have spell damage, even a little bit. Star power, bro. Ugh, it's so disgusting. Why Hunter has a Borkler? Can anyone explain? And has two of the best Borklers ever created in the game. I'm surprised they no longer play Hollowhound because it lost two health. It's not going to survive the attack. I don't understand. That was not the problem. The Hollowhound was not the problem that it might not survive. It was, it was the problem because it's a Borkler, bro. 
with lifesteal. That's why. So it's still playable. It's so weird, bro. So weird. So weird that this this has triggered my, you know, uh PTSD, basically. Random minion. Choose the targets. That's cool. That's pretty cool. It's six damage, right? Yeah, it's it's fine. It's a cool design. Okay, guys, I, I'm complaining a lot. This still costs like one mana. You get two coins. This card, two cost card. It's cool. It's not that bad. It's still bad, though. Restore three. Because it's random. That's the problem. It's completely random. Uh, th this is pretty weak as a random card. The other stuff is fine. Fine. Rock? Cool, I guess. But let's see if uh, they redeem themselves if you dig deeper. Some legendaries. And there's obviously a lot of ads for some reason that passed the ad blocker. How the fuck did they do that? Discard a three cost card, it costs zero. Same goes with five cost card. Deal three damage to all enemies. Yeah. I'll just click a button. You you telling me this is the same hour level as the rest? This seems pretty weak. This Drake thing. Set of minion stats. This is pretty cool. It's pretty powerful. And Memish, I guess. Can be targeted by I think this is power more I don't even... This is so stupid looking creature. It has lifesteal though, bro. Holy shit. I mean, it is Zilliax type of thing. It's gonna give you 8 health. Uh, so it's a 7, 9? 9. Wait, one, one second. It's kind of like 9 points of tempo and all of a sudden not so fucking weak, isn't it? I don't know, bro. It's not, not even 9, it's kind of like more. Holy shit. I'm looking at it, I'm like, shit, this card is disgusting. Technically, you excavate four times and you get some pretty crazy thing that I, I don't want to look at. Uh, let's just keep it a mystery. Let's forget about it. In case someone is brave enough to excavate. Can be targeted by spells or hero powers. Now, you sort of know what card you're getting, how much mana cost the next excavation thing is. Still, you need to keep track of everything. Because Blizzard ain't gonna fucking do it for you. How many times did I excavate it? I don't know. I don't know, bro. What's the last card you played? This is the only way you're gonna figure it out. Which is fine, I guess. Can't be targeted by hero powers, bro. That's also... Decent. Very decent stuff. At epic level, epic rarity. Is this good though? Because you just need to excavate twice for effects, guys. Holy fucking shit. Removal, bro. This is scary. Okay, this sucks. This one sucks for sure. Because it's just a worse version of the rock. It's just worse. What the fuck is this? 
give a minion and its neighbors plus one plus two. Okay, that's pretty cute. Random two minion. Sure. It's pretty powerful too. I mean, I, I don't hate it. I just know it's unplayable. Based on the cards that you have to play to get these effects. And only special classes can do that as well. Only when you excavate to third level you get good stuff. This is actually good. This is average. So every single card has, if you excavate it twice, you get a good card. But then it resets back to normal. After you get a legendary, you start from the same place. As you can see here, displayed one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. It's so weird. I don't, I don't like it, man. This is cute, but like, it's not. We'll see. It's interesting to see, I guess. I'll remove one bad because it's kind of interesting. And it's random, so you get a Borklayer randomly. Not like exclusively discover a Borklayer. So I'll take it, bro. Let's continue. See, it's so weird because they think the excavate is worth two man. No, this is so stupid. It's it's not worth two mana. You already like spending mana on the excavate thing. What the? F it's not worth two mana though. You can debate one and a half mana. One mana for sure. Absolutely fascinating stuff. Two mana, bro. Give me a break. Just yeah. look at this shit. Like, it's a one-mana card with Excavate. This is the same thing. Execute with Excavate. Execute is not really playable, necessarily. How are you going to justify these cards? I wasn't, like, thrown away by Excavate cards in general. I don't know, bro. This is a mystery to me. If Excavate works then it's going to have a very good after-experience evaluation. But as it stands, we're now here. We're here back to the Titans evaluation, which was the highest one, 64%. But it went down really fast, all right? To normal, to 60% evaluation. And this is, 60% is pretty low. Like 60% of the cards are properly designed and the other 40 percent is just trash it's pretty fucking bad bro where are we standing right now this is a bad card it's too powerful ridiculously powerful but you have to play tons yeah you will play tons it's bad now all right i don't want to worry your this this sort of stuff is just disgusting to me. Where you have an infinite durability weapon. It's always the most disgusting thing you can do. Now, a more disgusting thing is being rogue and boosting your, the attack of the weapon at the same time. That's even crazier, bro. I hate that shit. And this is another one of those instances where we're just never gonna end. And now... They already have plenty of attack swinging at my face, you know, with Odin. And now they're going to do it with Toden, to to bro. What the fuck? So because Excavate is a laughable thing, technically this is also a funny-ass card. It doesn't do shit, bro. It is a taunt, though, I guess. I don't think it counts as a play minion though so uh whoops <laughs> it's so wow 
A giant minion, bro. It is just four mana, though. I guess. But you have to excavate. You can't just wait. I think. <laughs> Would you really wait eight turns? Now, waiting six turns... Still pretty weird. You have to excavate twice. That's what it says. This is such a stupid card. Again, excavate just sounds like a stupid idea. It just sounds like a meme. Such a waste of space. This one seems actually powerful. Where it clears everything. And that's why I fucking hate it. <laughs> It's an excavate card that is bad in general. And it's bad because it's so funny. Because <laughs> it says excavate. Well, start. A, okay, okay. Th this one is fine. This one's fine. In fact, it's sort of like cool card. I just hate brawl though. So, fuck you. Enemy minions equal to this minions attack. What? How I so many Borklers though? What the fuck is going on? Okay, do you look like a normal card? Bro. Why would you give a turtle dynamite? You know he's not gonna make it, bro. He's not gonna light it up. This guy's just gonna explode by himself. It's another stupid ass card that deserves two points of bad. God, bro, stop planting burglars. What the fuck? Hey, guys. Consecrate here. What? Creparian. Hmm. Creparian meme. But it's. <laughs> I mean, it is. Hey, guys, burglar here. That's the new meme that we're gonna see. Battle cry. Give your ton minions in your hands. Plus two, plus two. Now, uh, minions are getting more and more health. Maybe there's a way for you to play around Borklers. I don't know that way. I don't think that exists. It's still ridiculously powerful. What you can do with this shit when it's so flexible. You know, you just flip the stats and that's it. I don't know how you do that. But you can buff the taunt so many times, and it's a battle cry. And I've already like dealt with a death rattle that a three three seven death rattle from priest. And it was pain in the ass. And this is a battle cry. So it's disgusting and it's one-sided. I can't I can't look at this card, bro. Give your taunt minions. <laughs> cool. Sure. I'm just gonna skip that minion. I hate warrior now. I hate priest, warrior, and mage, and warlock. I think they are all kind of getting excavated, no? Who's getting excavated? Not shaman. Rogue is getting excavated, so that's good for you, Rogue. You can actually maybe do that. Without being a pain in the ass. Yeah, mage is getting excavated too. Are all the stupid classes getting excavated? Or am I just tripping? Yeah, and the fucking death knight. Yeah, the worst classes get excavated. Fuck you, guy. Honestly? Honestly, if all the bad classes get excavated, excavate is amazing, bro. Absolutely amazing. Eat it. Put it in your mouth, guys. Eat your excavate. But at the same time, I don't actually get to play that mechanic and enjoy it and test it. So it's bad. I try to make a meme out of it, but like... God damn it, bro. I don't even get to play excavate. Because <laughs> I hate all these classes. Except maybe rogue, but I don't play rogue. It just looks weak to me. All right, so let's uh, see the finale, boys, of the neutrals. Uh, all right, let's see it. 
The way neutrals, we're going to do three boring cards is one bad card. All right, three boring cards. And three uh, well-designed, I mean... No, if something is designed very well, this is good. But three boring cards is bad. Because most of the time, you're not going to find bad neutral cards. They're just going to be very boring. No, tradable all is crazy cool card. This is ridiculously interesting. Because it's tradable, so you also like get a card, basically. This is insanely powerful card that doesn't seem broken. Which is crazy, bro, to me. Oh, Barrel of Sludge. Actually, pretty cool stuff that you can get it as a neutral card. I'll take that, bro. I'll take that. Your beasts have rush. This one's a little bit weird, but I'll... Should I take it? Is it a cool card? Yeah, because it's, it's designed based on the, the, the winner of last year, like, competition or whatever. Championship. I'm not keeping up with the Kardashians, but I know that one. Right? The bunny hopper or whatever. The next time you draw a spell, get a copy of it. Poisonous, by the way. What the fuck is this shit? Get the fuck out of here. What the fuck is this? It's so stupid. Oh my god. You gotta be fucking kidding me, bro. Oh my god. <laughs> I can't give it good, but it's so stupid. It's so stupid. I, I no comment guys. Next time you draw a spell, you get a cactus ranger, bro. <laughs> get a copy of it. I think it's cool. Maybe it's like pretty playable. I like that. I like this card. Because you kind of like synergize and it's naga like synergy it's it's cool it's fucking awesome and at the end of turn draw a card we we need card draw very badly this seems super super duper important super duper necessary and i just have to give it a good never has uh, less than three cards in it yeah See, the problem is this This is a scary card, man. And I'm not sure what's going to happen here. Because, uh... Like, uh, do you understand how scary this is? You keep getting Murlocs until you have three cards in your hands. It's crazy. I want to see what happens. This is just good because I have no idea what happens... You you probably play this in like every deck, bro. What the fuck? This is bad. This is so scary, bro. This you just play this. You generate more of this same fucking card, probably. If it's possible. I don't understand, man. I'm scared. What is this? Holding another two cost card, get a coin. But this this kind of reminiscent of Pyrotechnician, but it's a buffed version of Pyrotechnician with Murlocs, with stuff you can actually play on the board. This is insane. <laughs> if you're holding another two cost, but you, you do get flooded by minions. If that says anything. No, you just play two of two of these in every single deck for the rest of your life, bro. If you're holding another two cost card, get a coin. Okay, you can get coins. That's cool. You can get coins. Is that good by itself? No. <laughs> but it's not boring. Return this card is crazy. Any return effects. 
with a bone. This is just disgusting hard rock. Holy shit. And I love it. I'll take it. After your opponent plays a minion, attack it. I don't I don't really like this kind of effect. It is powerful, I guess. I'm not sure. It's so weird. It's too weird for me to like know what this is supposed to do. You can buff it and it's still not gonna do anything different. Your opponent will still have full control. And I don't like this. This card, Zeddy immediately is like, wait, this is a Death Knight card that's no normal and you don't need like green rune. Yeah, we're, f we're screwed. We just screwed, bro. This is like bad. It's so good that it's bad now. But you still have to play it. I, I don't know. It's kind of the, very, very similar to the, the stupid totem, stereo totem that I showed you guys. And I'll, I'll take it. I'll just take it, man. I'll take it to the knee. I'm fine with that. You will also play this card. Not in every deck, but like... Uh, after you, <laughs> you don't have to enchant this card. So before you enchant Howdy Finn and unlock Howdy Finn, you, you play this instead. That's how you do it, bro. Excavate quick draw. Tradable and legendary. This card is like super cool. This card actually enables Excavate. This one I understand. This one fucking card I actually understand. Even though it's so stupid because it just dies for three mana. <laughs> but it's just it's just too too funny, right? Finally you can play excavate cards. You can play the other stuff. It's really flavorful. I'm like, fuck it. This this is fine. By the way, it says excavate, but does that mean the excavated cards also cost one less because that would be fucking nuts, bro. That would be nuts. You can play the stupid two drop and play the treasure instantly. So uh, that would be just a like essential excavate card. I'm I'm not sure. The other stuff not so relevant, but like legendary is pretty cool to play cheaper. It's it's cool card. I'm not gonna evaluate. It's just very cool. You played elemental, discover an elemental from the past. I don't care. No, I well, it is important. It is important for elemental decks. I just don't care though. Elementals from the past are not that powerful, I don't think. Mm. Or you discover into a discover effect. That would be cool. Get a random quick draw card. I mean, it's it's a cute card. I'm not gonna be too upset. Yeah, this seems like there's even more and more flavor going on every single expansion, and it's crazy now. Crazy how cards look like nowadays. Holy shit! Shuffle. This card is insane, bro. Like, what the fuck? Just refresh your hand without playing Sir Finley anymore. Like, you can have two of these now. You can just... This is the craziest combo card ever. If you want to build a combo deck. It's unbelievable. It's just a good card, by the way. This is just a generally good card. That you would want to play. You're just like, well, should I play this 3-drop? Or should I wait? Ah, fuck it. Let's play it. No, you you're making a lot of decisions with this stuff because you're actually shuffling cards in your deck, which is better than shuffling things into the bottom of your deck. It's so so much better this way. A uh, very cool stuff. At the end of turn, two load bullets. Blah blah blah. I'll take it, bro. Enemies. I'll fucking take it, bro. 
to the knee as well. Awesome card. Maybe not powerful enough to be played. Just really cool. Because it's at the end of turn effects. And I love those. Uh, probably even more powerful than uh, the regular. What is it? The other three drop that buffs my minions. Plus one, plus one. No, nah, it's it's weaker. <laughs> it's probably really weak, but I'll still take it, bro. Both players draw. See, the funny thing is, they missed the opportunity to say quick draw. With if you can quick draw the card, if you can play your card destroy your opponent's card that would be so much better right they missed the fucking thing destroy the one that cost less no if you play it this turn destroy your opponents uh destroy what they draw what they drew that would be cool that would be awesome also it's a death rattle by the way why the fuck is that a death rattle why do you give your opponent this is just bad. But again, it's not going to be played, so it's just a neutral slot. So, I guess... It's a boring card? But it's just so bad. It's so badly designed that it's actually bad. To look at and, like, analyze it and realize that this is so bad. Slowly realize... To a random enemy minion and uh, one of its neighbors. I don't care. Boring. If you're holding another three cost card, summon a random three cost minion. I think it's boring. Yep, still think it's boring. Someone a copy of this. Yeah, it's a scary one. The actual chain gang. I'm not gonna say it's boring though. No. But it's is it good though? I don't care. Oh, the elemental borkler. But it's a death rattle, so it's fine. I'll yep. It, it's fine. I, I don't... I'm not gonna say it's a good card because I don't like Warklers, bro. Give your hero plus three attack. Instead of attack, it's so weird. It's not really that bad. In f it's, it's actually like a beneficial effect 50% of the time. It's beneficial to not attack. Because you don't take damage with the minion. Uh, this one is like pretty cool. The ogre thing is... Is going to pop a little bit. If, I guess. If you're holding another 4 cost card, deal 4 damage. This is stupid. Uh, why? By the way. Why? Open Badlands Jail. I mean, uh, it seems decent. I don't like it, though. But I have only 20 and less health, bro. I have taken so much damage. Yeah. Now I have to play around this card? We'll see. I don't, I don't like it, bro. I guess it's not bad, but like... Into your opponent's deck. Yeah, that's cute. It is death rattle. It's it's a disruption for Highlanders. And that's relevant. That shit is relevant. Should I should I give it good? I mean, we need a disruption, of course. They know what they're doing now, that's good. 
Draw beast to cost three less. It's it's a cute card. I don't think it's not boring though. Because it is. Well, it's actually not boring because you draw any beast. I'm just like, I'm actually tired of like drawing minions. And this one, I don't. Okay, you can get Gattle Snake, so uh, yeah. That's a very powerful card then. Gattle Snake for free. And you just play this into Gattle Snake. Cattle? Cattle into Gattle, boys. Fuck yeah. <laughs> it's shit, bro. Whenever this attacks gain divine shield or lifesteal, you'll never know. It's shit. It's not... Well... Maybe not the shittiest thing. Actually... Yeah, lifesteal and divine shield. As long as you can play around both the effects, it's pretty fine i'll give the bonus once i show you guys this thing resurrect ogre gang i'll it's a good card bro you played your ogres you deserve a reward bro give them wind fury holy shit bro what is this thing and you you return this to your hand obviously like you should because ogres have to be resummoned over ogre and ogre again <laughs> <laughs> mm. So many memes, bro. Life steal. Quick draw. Deal six damage. Um I was like reading it. If you life steal, you deal six damage, and if you qu quick draw, you deal six damage. It's so hard to read now, these effects, because they look like keywords. But yeah, you quick draw and it's another one of the dragons that will not get played because why? Why did they print this? It's a filler card. I guess that there's not that many boring cards. That one and that one. Okay, you decide, alright? Cost one less for each turn in a row. You played Elemental. This card, in fact, sucks, kind of. It could be a 4-drop, guys. It could be a 5-drop. Or it could just suck balls. Because it doesn't do anything. Look, bro. Look, bro. If you look up over here, this is how an 8-8 eight eight looks like nowadays. It's a 4-mana 8-8. Eight eight. You just have to hold a thing and deal 4 damage to a 4-health creature. And then you have an 8-8... Eight eight uh on the board instead of this bullshit so i'm not doing that anymore all right have i clicked bad shit i forgot to click bad i think and here's here comes the the thing that i i don't want all right in the game i don't want this in fact this this is gonna be a lifesaver for me bro i will uh sell you some oil my friends get the fuck out of my life because I don't want this to happen. If your deck has no duplicates, empty the enemy board. Bad enough. Already bad enough. And limit it to one minion for a turn. Really fucking bad. I don't want this, bro. I hate it. And then you get some cool stuff that deals two damage. Double Borkler. Because I can't play minions next turn, and uh, everything gets cleared. Everything completely. Empty the enemy board. Uh, because it's Highlander, I'm not gonna do uh, a three. But like for Highlander, they could have... No, we're doing three, bro. We're doing three points of bad. Because the reward could have been better, you know? Could have been more interesting. Could have been an excavate reward. I don't care, bro. But only five classes excavating. So you gotta come up with something better. Excavate or whatever the other class is doing. Like you could have could have done so much better. 
But Blizzard decided that Reno needs to be a fucking asshole. That's what it needs to do. You know, and that one minion is is obviously is the most flavorful, flavorful thing of like there's one opponent and he's and Reno is gonna potentially shoot the, the creature that he's facing, and it's like, whoa, it's a showdown. Oh my god, of that one creature that you have played. Oh my god, bro. So much flavor. This is bullshit, man. I hate it. Just return the other ones to the hand or something. You can even have this for two turns if you want. Return the other ones to the hand. Leave the, the strongest minion on the board. There's so much more flavor without removing everything, bro. As if we just teleported to a desert. Teleported to an island. And playing Mr. Beast Challenge right now. Get the fuck out of here. Stupid designer. And it's the first... is the first neutral hero as well. So it's just four times as bad. Double Borkler, Highlander, first, first hero card for everyone. Has no thematic substance for this game or this uh, expansion. It's just, go f and it's just Reno slapped on top. It's like, hey guys, I'm Bone Banger. I'm banging some bones today. I'm not saying I'm gay, but I'm boning... <laughs> Bone banger, bro. Get the fuck out of my life, bro. Whoever plays Reno is a, is gay, basically. And gay is bad again, all right? It used to be good for like five years recently, but gay is bad now again, all right? It's, we're back to bad lands. So uh, we can call people gay now again just because of Reno. That's how fucking mad I am. The rules have changed. Someone an elemental and beast from your deck. Was this card cool, guys? Was it cool? I think it's cool. I think it's pretty cool. Like uh, it's a lot of stats, right? You you uh, you commit, bro, and then you can actually play your stupid eight eight elemental. So uh, I'll take it. It was free after all. It wasn't that bad. I just didn't want to play it because it's like weird, you know. What was it? Beast and Elemental. <laughs> it's a school game design, right? The final verdict, my friends. Again, for the record, for, for the reference, 60% is like decent. All right, you're aiming for 60%, but the average expansion that we have received gets a rating of 57 i guess 57 is like the average rating but you're aiming for 60 percent what do we get it looks like 60 percent. it looks like yeah plus i mean 99 yep it's 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 gonna be 60. wait wait, wait. that one that one is the good side Still bad at 61. All right. So I'm not disappointed. It's not, it doesn't look better than Titans, but it could be better if, like, ex excavate. Look, there's some cool combos going on. I don't know, bro. So, uh, Badlands showdown in the Badlands is 61. Where, where was I? 61. percent see you guys next time or next year actually i don't know